Hi guys. So after the last haul video, which was mostly a Dollar Tree haul, I have to tell you this is mostly a thrift store haul. There's a few things that didn't come from the thrift store, but this is mostly shopping while Jamie was here. When you have a friend that comes into town with an empty suitcase, what do you do? You shop. We had so much fun. Um, we just, and her husband is fabulous and we did send them off, the boys off one day and let them go to see some historical things that her husband wanted to see. And we just shopped and we had fun and we ate and, and just, it was a fabulous, fabulous few days. I just wish they could have stayed longer, but that's how it is. Some people still have to work and you know. Jeff and I don't have to work, but we do have chores to do, so we kind of had to get back to them. Um, this actually came before Jamie got here, and um, she, Helen Picola called me and said, had I seen these, and we got these at the thrift store. Uh, so you want to make sure you keep your eyes out when you're in the thrift stores, because sometimes you run into stuff. And we both got um, some of these and uh, actually sent some to Lisa. So uh, these uh, were her just a lucky find. Just really lucky find. And especially since this is pretty much everybody I know's favorite glue stick. So now the reason this is up here is because I have to do it first, even though it's one of the last things we got because it's too big and too heavy to... to um, to not just leave up here. I have an idea for these. I would not have bought these if I didn't have sort of a plan. Um, and it was kind of one of those too good to pass up deals. This bucket, it weighs a ton. It's like five inches deep. Uh, it's 18 inches by 12 inches. I mean, it's heavy. It's just filled with crayons. And those of you who know, know I don't like to color, but I kind of have a plan for these and what I want to do with them. And they had little packages, little bag, you know, plastic baggies for $2. And I got this whole bu bucket for 10 So, you know, <clears throat> if I don't use them all, I'll donate them back. That's, you know, how, how I thought about it when I thought that. And I just realized that's a white one, and um, I love white crayons for for resist. So um, well, there's a lot of white ones in there. So that's you know, I probably got my ten dollars worth just buying white crayons. So, anyways, this is here first because I have to be able to move it, and with my shoulder, it takes everything I have to pick it up. So I'll be right back. <laughs> I didn't have to pick it up very high. I just, um, basically, I just had to move it to the chair. The first day they got here, uh, we were on our way home from breakfast, and I said, Jeffrey, we're going by the paper store. And if those of you who don't know, there's a store here in town that sells damaged paper goods. Um, they have a, a bargain shelf is what it is. They, um, they supply printers with paper. And they had this fun, uh, this lightweight cardstock. It's not very heavy cardstock, but it is cardstock, it's not paper. And it was lime green, and you guys know I love lime green. And then I got another, um, this one is premium color copy. It is, it's got like, it's a little heavier than copy paper. Um, And the deal is, if anything in the, the case gets damaged, they can't sell it to their printers. Because a damaged corner, for me, doesn't mean that much. But a damaged corner to a printer means it can jam the machine and it can cause a lot of trouble for them. And if they have, they can't sell it. So they reduce the price and um, they have their bargain shelf. Anyway, so we that was our first 
our first shopping stop. Um, I don't know if these are in order now, but we went to the bins, which is the Goodwill has a, a bins where you, you pay by the pound. And um, we found bunches of things. Um, let me see. Oh, dear. Okay. Now, I got several of these so that I can maybe gift them out. Um, this is just a, a place bit. And first thing I thought of was the jelly plate. So, um, you know, it's it's that's why I picked it up if they're plastic placemats and but they also work they're fun um for coffee dyeing so that's so I got those I got this bag of yarn for my mom um wasn't anything real special but since it was at the by the pound store it didn't cost very much because it certainly doesn't weigh a pound if you those of you who don't know she's been making um, hats for ca cancer patients. It's something for her to do. Um, it, you know, it's it's just, it's one of those, she just does it for the fun of it. I got these two sets of cards just because I like to collect cards that are different. And this lady with this wavy hair is kind of cool. So I got those. And then I found these, and Jamie was sad, but it's funny, a, a few, a day or two later, we're in a different thrift store, and she found a package. So these are bugs, and you guys know I like bugs, and butterflies, and the grasshopper, and the moth, spider, ladybug. So I really like those. Those were fun. Um, I was going to just pull out one of each and give them to her, but then she found a whole package. So that was, that was good. And what are these? Oh, these were cute. They have cute little girls on them. And little pictures. They weren't as cute, but I thought they would be fun. Um, I, I just really like cards. I really do. I, I, I don't use them enough. But. Okay. And I got some. These, these, I grabbed them. They just got bugs on the front, but they do not have bugs on the cards. They are just basic um uh, now I use these and I I like to use these, but they're they're not they don't have decoration on them like I had hoped the since the box had bugs on it, but no biggie. Uh, like I said, we were at the this was this all came from the bin store where you pay by the pound, and then I got this. Oh, I was gonna give Jamie some of these. Um, these actually are the shells are stitched into little rings, so. Each ring is a bead. If you can see me spin it. So each one of these rings, so it wasn't the little tiny shells all stitched to this ribbon. The, each one has a little ringlet. And then this one had shells like that. And while I hadn't con contemplated a, a, a beach journal, these would work real well for a beach journal and so I might think about that down the road you know it, it's one of those things you have you have to oh shoot I need to have I need to have something to put this stuff back into or I'm gonna have a mess all over everywhere maybe I can just shove it over there for now let's see now this is multiple stops multiple places
like I said, we just we spent our day shopping. We had so much fun. We jibber jabbered. It, it was. It, we we really enjoyed ourselves. It was just. I got this because of the color of it. Um, I have white. I have plenty of white adding machine tape. But this already looks like it's coffee dyed. It's uh, recycled, I think. Um, yes, yeah, from Recycled Projects. But see, it's not white. See how it's it's got that coffee dyed look to it? And... Uh, that just intrigued me, and I think uh, it looks like I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. And then I got this. This is um, a countdown notepad. Last year, I had really, really, really wanted to make a December daily, or two or three, maybe even just for the fun of it, and. Um, of course, with my surgery and stuff, didn't get it done. So um, I picked that up because I thought it would be fun to put in a December daily. And then they had this, and this is just a little uh, Christmas um, activity pad. And I thought that might be fun for to, you know, work on a December daily with. Jamie got a whole roll of this, and she pulled some of it off. It's just tool. Um... And I have, I have, I'm pretty sure I have tool, but she just felt I might not. So she gave me some. And not only that, it's really a pretty color. It's um very vintagey. I think it'll work really well for some things I plan to do. Uh, this was another present from Jamie. Um, these are double-sided adhesive sheets. They're for the cutter, but of course you can cut them, um, other ways so I'll have to it's it's one of those experiments but I think they'll be a lot of fun to play with I've been gonna get one of these at the dollar store I'm going to get one of these at the dollar store and <laughs> haven't just because you know I need one more thing the reason I want that is that it has Itty bitty tiny monies in it. Ain't that precious? Itty bitty tiny Monopoly monies. And because of that, um, it's got the Monopoly board and all of these things in it. And that's why I had wanted it from the Dollar Tree. Well, it was 50 cents at the thrift store. So, you know, I picked that up. And I got these. These are really cool buttons. Um, they're wooden and they have some really fun designs on them. Now you could paint them if you didn't, if you didn't like the designs, you could put them on the jelly plate, but I thought they were really cool designs. Now I have tons of buttons, but I, if I have any like this, I, I don't remember any like this. So I thought those were fun and... They'll make some fun closures. They'll make be fun in in um, on tags and things. We were at an estate sale the last day they were here, and I got these um, these cards with the. They were just they're just playing cards, and these ones are very well used. Um, there wasn't a lot there. Uh, but Jamie and I both found a few things that, um, well, that was good. That's not a good rubber band, um, that we liked. Now, these have not been used at all, but this one is a vase of flowers, and this one is two little hat boxes with that are floral. And I thought these would be um, really pretty, kind of maybe inked up and vintage -y. So... Playing cards is one of those things I seem to collect all kinds of. I got this, which is, um, 
if you can see it's like an organza but it's it's ombre from one edge to the other it changes how dark it is and there again, I was thinking about December dailies when I picked it up. But I also think I might just send it out with, um, it, it, when we do our Same Six Wednesday, I may send a piece of this in the Same Six Wednesday package. Um, that, you know, that's still yet to be determined. <laughs> okay, let's see where I can pile that. Um... I got myself a new shirt, just ran into this. It is really heavy um, uncut corduroy and it's big and will go over my sweatshirts. And um, truth of the matter is it's perfect for leaving in the camper. It's not something I'm gonna wear every day at home, but um, it's, it's something to wear over sweatshirts when you need to layer that kind of thing when you're out. And um, it's a really nice shirt. I think I paid three dollars for it, so uh, I was a really got got into that real well. Um, there's no way for me to put this up there where you can actually see the whole thing. This is actually bigger than poster board. When I got it unrolled, I didn't think it was that big. When I got it unrolled, it's actually bigger than poster board, and it is plastic. It is white plastic about the thickness of a poster board and my first thought when I saw it was stencils um Jamie's thought was you could uh alcohol ink on it so you know I think it's got some serious possibilities of fun at, but my that my thought was stencils so okay let's see what's next We're actually getting done with this faster than I expected because I'm, I'm, we're going good here. Um, this was all together like that. I do not like it when they package stuff this way because you cannot see everything, but I could see this and I really, really liked now this, this is really cute. It's got some real fun, um, quotes on it. And I like these kinds of things for the quotes. Um, Liberty, when it begins to take root, is a plant of rapid growth. George Washington. Conviction is worthless unless it is converted into conduct. So there, you know, it's got some fun quotes. It's not necessarily something I'd use every day, but I always like this kind of books for that. So it wasn't it wasn't a hardship to pick that up, but. I really wanted it for this. I really think this is so cute. Now these were all stuck together. So I'm assuming they came as a package. They're notepads. Okay. Um, I just really like this. And I real I'm bird journal. Bird journal is one I really want to make. So um, I will probably use this as um, some kind of either a little notepad or journaling pad or something like that in um in a bird journal. I probably won't use it all. Um, I thought these could be tucked in as um, a page or um, paper pads or something in a journal. This one kind of intrigues me because you guys know I like circles, but that is like it's crocheted. So um, it's got some interesting possibilities too. And it's small enough or it's large enough that you could fold it in half and it would make a page. So I, I haven't made decisions on exactly what I'm going to do with those, but, you know, once again, more stuff to bring in the house. Sooner or later, I'll figure out how to stop this. Uh, we were at, Jamie got this at the pound store, and she actually got two rolls, and she gave me one of them. Um, it's parchment. Uh, we don't know if it will uh, stick. We, you know, it wasn't, this one wasn't in a box. We have no idea exactly what it is. But it looks like baking parchment. Not that I would bake on it, but I like to have this stuff around the studio for different things. Like if you're melting something, stuff does not stick to this usually. So um, that will be nice to have. This it was $1.99. It's not a full yard because there's some cut off of it. But can you see what it is? 
it's a city isn't that really cool um and it's black and white and i want to do some black and white journals and i think this will really stand out in it um i started not to get it and then yeah i had to get it um so i really like it though i really do so there was that okay i have been looking oh <laughs> actually got these for Jeffrey this was a Jeffrey thing um the other day before Jamie and Johnny came uh Jeff went through the living room and we have hardwood floors that he'd spent a lot of time doing um he really worked hard on those hardwood floors and when chairs get moved around on them it scratches them so we keep these on the chairs and he went through all the chairs and redid a bunch of them so that we were sure that uh because some of them had come off and so i got him some more for his little around the house kit you know that's stuck and i have been looking for a bigger frying pan for a while um i am i'm kind of picky about my frying pans i like the, as far as this metal handle goes that's mine mine have a plastic handle i don't care about that but i don't want a huge handle but I like a stainless steel pan. I do not like pans with um, stuff on them. I like stainless steel, but mine all have this aluminum, heavy aluminum bottom. bottom. Not the copper bottom, but the aluminum bottom. Anyways, uh, this was $4.99. It needs cleaned, and I'll send it out to the shop with Jeff, and he'll, he'll scrub it to within an inch of its life. Um, I needed a taller slightly bigger frying pan not all the time but a lot of times when I'm trying to stir fry something the wok is too big and my frying pans were too small so this is I'm really happy to get this and we get it home I didn't even look this is a um emerald pan you know that the sh chef I think he's from New Orleans um it's a two quart one so it probably was worth more than $4.99 but and as far as the lid goes I rarely use a lid but I have lids that will fit on it so I was real pleased to get that oh, let's put that over there because we have one more stop one of the most important stops was to take Jamie to A&E fabric now I've taken Kathy to A&E fabric and got that I don't need fabric the last thing in this world is do I need fabric but of course I had to have some okay so I'm going to start over about the fabric <clears throat> hopefully I can cut this right of course today the neighbor decides to blow leaves out of the street not just in the yard but out of the street right in front of my studio it's bad enough with the mowers and the you can never pick a time sorry rant no, should not talk about that, but those giant leaf blowers are really ridiculous. I just don't get it. Um, anyways, one of our stops was A&E Fabric. And, well, I don't need another single piece of fabric. I had to have some, so, you know, I just did. Uh, one of the reasons I like to take people there is because they have a, a line of Tim Holtz fabric. Now, a lot of what they're getting in now that's Tim Holtz fabric is the color background type ones where they had a lot of the um, black and white type ones with the different type specimens and um, things like that. But A&E picks a lot of really fun fabric, so we, we, we didn't hurt. Or lack for fabric just because the Tim Holtz wasn't as much as we would have liked but they do have a whole end cap of Tim, Tim Holtz fabric I found we found this one and you know it looks like a ledger it's a little bright yellow I don't know if that shows up on the screen but it's 100% cotton so there's no reason that some pieces of it cannot go in some tea or coffee and get more of an aged look to it um, it's it's really a nice fabric so got that and then this one has uh, little typewriters and little typewriter pieces and things like that on it which 
we both really liked. So we both got some of that. And this is feather one here. Um, <clears throat> they had a back, black background and a white background on the feathers. And I started to get both sets of feathers. And then they had this one. And I thought, you know, if I put the one of the feathers back and get this one, I'll probably be happier. So I kind of got these to go together, but I just love this. It's just, it's got so many possibilities. Um, and these feathers are fabulous. Uh, I have some I have some fun ideas I want to play with with this. Um, partly on the sewing machine too. So uh, hopefully that will be... Maybe I'll get that done this summer. Maybe not. And then, of course, they had these dragonflies, which, you know, it's just yummy. Dragonfly fabric. And I don't think I have any dragonfly fabric. I might, but you never know. So I got a little dragonfly fabric to go with my big dragonfly fabric because I want to do, we want to do that, um, that paper bag with um a, as a dragonfly theme a dragonfly journal okay and then you know i saw this and there was no way i was leaving it leaving without getting some of it i had to have these bugs i really really did i just love these i just think they're just fabulous so i guess i'm gonna have to do another bug journal because I just love bugs. And so, um, I actually don't think I got any Tim Holtz fabric. Um, Jamie did, but I didn't. Um, all of these were not at Tim Holtz, but this one intrigued me. There were two color families in this one with a lighter gray and one with a darker gray. And I got the lighter gray just because I thought I liked the contrast of it more. So, and then this, I actually have some of this line of fabric that I got at, in Crestview at my friend's um, fabric store. And they, they didn't have this when I was, when I got that. So um, I got this and it will go with that other fabric, but it goes, just, you know, anything steampunky, old kind of thing, it really goes. And then we got some of this. We both got some of this. This is a lot of fun. It's got these typewriters on it. This one's a blank one. And then they have some with words. It says, the writer is, by nature, a dreamer, a conscious dreamer. And it's quotes on the typewriter page. A word after a word after a word is power, Margaret Atwood. So um, they were just too cool. Um, I really don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them. They would make real interesting cover pieces in a journal, but don't know. We'll figure it out one way or another, guys. <clears throat> I actually have come to the end of this haul. Uh, that... Like I said, when a friend comes to visit you and she has an empty suitcase so that we can shop, then you shop till you can, you just fall over. Um, we had a really good time. We found some really good bargains. Uh, I got way too much fabric, but that's okay. Eventually it'll get used. One of the things I'll tell you is that it's fun to shop and that's, you know, um, I hope everybody's having fun. I hope that you're all well and that you go have fun and make some art. Bye-bye.